the time has finally come. At last, I got the chance to review a Nairika bike and my patience has paid off handsomely because this right here, the Mega, is the most powerful and most advanced bike that they ever came up with. When I first saw the Prime, oh my goodness, I have never seen such an incredibly looking e-bike. Ah, literally love at first sight. I want to cry. <laughs> ah, this right here is a fairly similar looking. <laughs> It's looking so nice. But they improved it on all levels. Full suspension while still looking amazing. ABS on the front brake and even more powerful motor. 200 newt meters. That is almost twice, twice what my car can do. Can you believe this? This is a bike and e-bike. So buckle up and get ready to ride into the future with this lean, mean, eco-friendly machine. Let's go green, let's save the planet together in style. You know what an awesome e-bike like this one requires? Ah, oh, man, let me tell you, with a disc behind me, you will be able to explore the world around you like never before. It will take you places you have never been before. And quite possibly some of these places might be absolutely amazing, almost as amazing as... So from time to time you will want, probably, you will want to make a short pause, maybe even a long pause, soak in the amazing scenery, just enjoy life for a bit. And the best way to do this is of course with a properly comfy camping chair. Of course, of course, ultra lightweight super small footprint so that you can bring it everywhere without any issues. Easy to set up with a strong and sturdy frame. So here I have my high-end bike, I have my high-end place and here I have my high-end camping chair. And there is only one brand out there that's clearly delivering the goods and it is of course Helinox. So check this out, small bag, easy and quick setup, and there we have it. So right here I have the Tactical Chair 1. This of course would fit a bit better to a black e-bike, but for whatever reason they sent me a blue one, but it still fits, it still fits though. And moreover, Helinox has a wide range, a wide assortment of camping chairs and products around that theme, you know, camping, outdoor activities. But what I like the most is their Tactical Collection, because it just fits this badass e-bikes so well, as well as hardcore electric skateboards and so on. <laughs> I love it. So if you're interested in this high-end, super comfy, lightweight lifestyle boost on the go, then definitely check out Helinox. It's of course listed and linked in the description. And also leave a comment below if you want more of these lifestyle camping gear videos. It just fits perfectly to my lifestyle. This black tactical stuff, I love it. So if you want more, I will gladly provide. New drip. Got a new drip from Nairika, the Nairika Mega. By the way, if you're interested already, then check out the product links in the description. I will list and link the best deals for you. And now let's check it out. It's, it's quite large. <laughs> well, actually it's not that large. As you can see, it's, it's quite manageable, but it's, it's rather wide and also pretty heavy. But yeah, that's of course to be expected for a massive bike like this. So yeah, let's open it up. Check this out. It's a box in a box, ultimate protection. That's what I like to see. So there we have it. Well, it's looking quite manageable. So let me get rid of the box. So let's remove the wrapping. It's wrapped quite intensely and there was also this box on the bottom. As this will not stay on its own, I will now just pump up the tires a bit and then immediately meet, uh, mount the front tire because then I can use a kickstand. So we also got this wooden part right here and also this super thick axle for the front wheel with the thread on, on this side. Now that's confidence invoking, look how thick and stable this is. Massive, massive. Ah, that's better, that's better. There we go, beautiful. So the wrap has been removed, obviously. It's blue. <laughs> I didn't expect it to be blue. Yeah, before we can get to the setup, let's check out all the accessories. So first of all, let's check out the saddle. 
carbon right there. We have this scale on the back with the min and max insert heights. With these two screws we can also move it forwards and backwards. And that's the thing from the side and also right here from the top. Pretty nice and soft, looking pretty cool with this white stitching. And the tube is of course hollow and inserting it would be a quick win. So let's get it. There we go. And then we will also get a helmet. This is the, the sunscreen and this is the helmet right here as you can see. Nice helmet right here. With these screws you can pop on the sunscreen from the front and from the back. Pretty nice helmet as you can see. And we have the manual right here and that's the other side. And aside from that we also have two boxes. So first of all in this box we have the keys for the bike. I will also insert them right now. There it is. Then we will also get the cable for the wall outlet and of course the charging brick. That's that. Pretty dope brick right here. This side with the socket of course and on the other side we have the fuse, the fan and the status LEDs and we will also get two spare fuses. And here we have the manual and here we have the other side. And lastly we have the box with the accessories and the parts. And in here, ah, we will also get a bottle holder. Then right here, a really nice looking front light that you can also recharge from the front, other side and from the back. And the charge port is actually down here, micro USB. And you will also get a charging cable. Then in here, we also have the pedals. And wow, look at that. We will also get a full tool set, a full hex key tool set. That is awesome. And the pedals. And this is what they look like. Metal pedals. There we go. So let's move on with the setup. Pedals and steering bar. There are also a few protective films left on the pedals on the motor. Right there and right there. Alrighty, let's go. And now the two last puzzle pieces would be the battery and the display, the board computer. So check this out, massive 840 watt hours. This is what it looks like. So we have this side right here, this one. And then we also have this side right here with the indicator. And you can charge it right here. There's the rubber flap, simple as that. Really nice for removing it, bringing it into your flat without having to bring in the whole bike. Okay, we'll snap in place. You can use a key to release it, that's that. And now the board computer, we have these rubber rings for mounting it on the steering bar. Then we have the control unit, infos right there. And as a display, beautiful display, let's install it. Okay, so when you go for the mid mount, you won't need the rubber rings at all. Three screws, now everything is super stable. All that's left now is to plug in the cables and it's super easy, it's all color coded. Green on green and yellow on yellow. And simple as that. Now I can push the cables into the frame a bit, get it all nice and snug, just like that. All right, there we have it. Short test. Oh, let's go. Woo, <laughs> that is awesome. So for this you will need a shock pump. The tires are all the way inflated. I'm at 1.5 bars and the range is 0.5 to 2.1 bars or 50 to 210 kPa. And for the suspension setup you will need a shock pump. Mine goes all the way up to 300 psi, regular car tire valve up here. We have 140 millimeters of travel in the front and I'm pretty sure that it's around 50 millimeters in the back. This will also translate to 140 millimeters in the back. But for the setup we of course need to calculate with the 50 millimeters. As you can see the front suspension is still all the way down from the shipping. First of all I will go for the sag setup and that's usually between 20 to 30 percent of the travel length. So that's around 28 to 42 millimeters in the front. I will aim for 30 to 32 millimeters and in the back 10 to 15 millimeters and I will aim for around 10 to 12 millimeters. And this is of course be done with the o-rings. So you have an o-ring right here and the other o-ring right there red and blue. So I will start in the back as you saw, there is almost no pressure in there. So let's open up this valve, screw in the pump and start pumping. So done. My body weight is around 70 kilograms and I'm a bit under 200 PSI. And now the front, we have the air cap, this orange cap right here. Just screw it open, this cap right here, and then pump it up all the way. And as you can see, it's already coming out, coming back to life step by step. 
That's also pretty much the same value. No, it's like 150 PSI, something like that, 160. So pretty happy with that. That covers the sag adjustment. And now we'll go for the rebound adjustment. This is how fast it will come back up. Rebound is always the red screw. And we have this dial right here. Okay, it's already all the way in. So I maxed out on the plus direction now. As you can see, it's now super slow. Let's go all the way to the minus direction. And as you can see, it's super fast now. So three or four clicks to the plus direction seems about fine to me. And the blue lever is always the compression setting so we can lock it and we can release it so that it's back to the full suspension basically. This is a two-way lever right there. And we can also lock the front suspension with the lever on the handlebar. Pretty dope. Let's screw on the caps again and that pretty much covers the suspension setup. Short brake test. Super solid brakes, hydraulic ones of course, massive stopping power and it's running perfectly fine, straight out of the factory, straight out of the box. Same for the front wheel, insane brakes, <laughs> let's go. Done with the unboxing and with the setup, now let's get to my first impressions and then of course to a close overview. So there we go. My first thought was, hey, it's actually a bit smaller than expected, but it's looking so nice. I love the Narika designs, fat wheels in the back and the front, massive 140 millimeter suspension. And we also have the ABS brake module right here. Super curious about that. We have the upgraded display. We have the upgraded discs, the 1500 watts motor. So yeah, let's take a close look. Starting in the back, First of all, we have a kickstand straight out of the box, mounted right here, regular kickstand. Then we have the back brake, nice disc, Shimano caliper in the back, same in the, as in the front. We have the Maxxis wheels, fat tires, of course, with a disc profile right here. Then we have the back of the frame and we have two mounting points right here for a possible rear rack. This is a carbon frame but we still have the in-frame cable management. Those are the back gears and the shifter right here looking beautiful. This note on the frame. Then we have the chain and the pedals right here. Sounding proper. Then of course the back suspension right here. And down here we have the Bethang motor. This is what it looks like. Here we have the suspension with the adjustment wheel and also the lockout. On the other side we have the, the valve. Then right here we have the battery brand logo right here, here for the key to open it up. And this button down here is for the, for the ABS system. More on that later, the upper portion of the frame, ah, the frame is, has just such an amazing design. Then we have the front fork and down here of course the ABS disc right on the front brake disc and then right here the ABS module that will stop the tire from locking. More details about the wheels, about the tires and yeah front tire from the other side. Front fork and on this side we have the lockout for the front fork. Not to forget the backlight right there, the saddle and we have two more screws right here for possible mounting options. Mega logo right there and lastly of course the handlebar. So I mounted the quick access on the left side then here we have the way I should actually turn it off for that. We have the thumb throttle, front brake, then of course the upgraded display. And on the right side we have the ABS indication light, we have the gear shifter and we can also lock the front suspension just like that. And the back brake, nice hydraulic brakes. That's the cable management in the front by the way. We have these clips so everything is properly managed and it will enter the frame right here and also on the other side pretty neat and the frame from the other side looking dope so and again we have the abs button and let's also turn on the display so after starting the default mode is the eco mode with the plus and the minus we can switch between the assist levels from zero all the way up to five pressing and holding the minus will Activate the walking assist. Holding the plus button will switch to the sport mode. With the light button we can turn on and off the backlight of the screen. With the I button we can cycle through time, trip, odometer, max, speed, average, speed, 
range and calories, thumb throttle obviously and yeah that's about it. When you use the throttle this is what it will look like. And when we switch to the sport mode it's of course the same but in red. Awesome display and there we have it. Not bad right? So let's finally test it. So here we go. Check this out. I have placed the ABS indicator on the left side so that I have space for a phone mount. That's my setup for the handlebar. Pretty dope. But before we get started, this drivetrain, you know, it's it's like a regular bike drivetrain. But since this motor is so powerful, when you're in the wrong gear, you can quite possibly explode the chain. So very important safety precautions. You need to handle this bike properly while well, the drivetrain. And that means you need to start in a low gear. One, two, maybe three. You must not ever start in one of these high gears because then the torque of the motor can't be translated to the back wheel and the chain might explode, as I said. So start with the low gears and when you pick up speed, then you can go, of course, higher. Simple as that, like a manual car. And now just for fun, before we get to the assisted modes, let's see if you can also use this bike without power. So I'm in the third gear. Uh, yep, as you can see, it's possible. Okay, let's turn it on. Assist zero, let's keep going. Oh, amazing brakes. So on the first gear, oh, easy, easy going. Let's go up the gears. So that's the last gear. And with a bit of effort, let's see, great display by the way. With a bit of effort, I can comfortably cruise at 15, 16, 17 kph. Oh, wait, oh, it will actually get faster. Let's go. And it's sounding awesome. Love the fat tires, so yeah. Without power, you can cruise at 20 kph. That's no problem. So, and now let's try assist one, assist two, three, four, five. So with just one hand, this is already getting way too sketchy. So let me switch it up. I'm in the last gear and that's exactly what not to do. So I'm on assist zero, so the throttle is safe. So I can of course spin it up with my own power slowly without any problems. And I forgot that it's actually torque sensitive. So the last assist level won't take you to full speed when you're, act when you're not exerting a bit of force. So on one, let's see how fast we can go when I exert force. Okay, 30. On two, a bit more, three. Oh boy, oh boy. Four. Oh, this has more. Oh my, oh my God. Oh my God. Oh, <laughs> oh it's so, so soft. I love this suspension. Oh, let's go, baby. So on number four, all the way up to 40. And on five. Woo! Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I've never gone this fast on an e-bike, on a, on a bike, period. Let's hit the thumb throttle as well. Oh! I will need a long, straight, a long, straight street. Two, three, four, five. Okay, let's see. <laughs> Holy sh insane. Not long enough, though it's not long enough. <laughs> that is the best, oh my god. Okay, okay, okay. Since I'm going that fast now, let me gear up a bit. GG boys. So, a bit of gear can harm. Let's go. Let's find a longer street. Oh god. Okay, so, there we go, okay. Looking good. Let's hit it. Yeah, buddy! You f Look at this. Ready for another round. Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay, come on. Max effort. Goodness. <laughs> ah, 
shit. Insane. Okay, enough exertion. Let's just have fun with the thumb throttle. Oh. Okay, let's see. Actually, uh, ah, no problem, of course. Let's go through here. Yeah. But helping with the pedaling actually makes a huge difference. So with the with only the thumb throttle, it will take you up to around like 50 kph. But with the pedaling, you can go way faster as you saw. God, hey! <laughs> The best overtaking cars like it's nothing. Look at those tires. <laughs> Super stable ride feeling. Check this out. Thanks to these big wheels, it is extremely stable. <laughs> Love it. So we are back and check this out. 12 kilometers and we only use 6% of the battery. Wow, crazy range. This battery is a freaking beast. Suits the bike just fine. Massive thumbs up from my side. 200 newton meters of torque. As I said, this is almost twice as much as my car can do. The power is definitely sufficient. And with a top speed of 38 miles per hour or around 60 kph, the top speed is also quite good. This is definitely more on the motorcycle end of things, but that's of course what makes this e-bike so amazing. And especially for this price point, you will get insane specs and features. This is the first bike that I've ever tested that has ABS, a complete game changer for bikes. Amazing stuff. Tons of available updates, well upgrades, and what's best about this e-bike in my opinion is of course the design. The frame, which is a monocoque carbon frame that also only weighs two kilograms two kilograms it's just looking so fine <laughs> it's looking so good so badass hands down the best looking e-bike on the market right now maybe maybe the prime looks better the prime is just the prime is just the prime but this is looking very similar and i love it and it's of course way better with the suspension all of that stuff i was always thinking when i saw the prime a prime with suspension Game over, game over. <laughs> and here we go. <laughs> this is amazing. Definitely trippy. Check out the product links in the description if you're interested. I will listen link the best deals for you. But before you go, smash that like button, then subscribe, ring the bell and click all to never miss amazing Take Magnet videos. That's it for this one. Enjoy it and I will see you soon.